team was offended by the fact that we weren't preparing properly for the tournament. That this was a kind of done on the hoof. He'd been talking to David Beckham about where England was staying. They all had these grade A facilities, pitches, balls, hotels, everything was right. Saipan was a bit of a dump. After a couple of days, the word went round that Roy Keane was going home. And we broached McCarthy on this subject at breakfast. And McCarthy, he said to us, the story is, I, I said to him, you know, is it the gear? And Keane said, no. Is it the pitch? And Keane said, no. Is it me? Said McCarthy. And Keane said, no. Well, what is it? Said McCarthy. And Keane said, it's me. 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 To say the least, when I come off train, I didn't, obviously I didn't want him to go home and try to talk him out, but uh, there was no way I was, I was going to do it. Keane, after a number of hours, decided he wasn't going to go home. He was going to stay. And we all breathed a huge sigh of relief in the media corps, and we kind of thought, OK, we've avoided a tsunami. Whew. Little did we know the eruption was about to begin. Clearly with Roy, as with so many things, the problems went a lot deeper and that manifested itself in him giving an interview to the newspaper I worked for, so at the time it was you know, a very big coup and it was very exciting, but he gave an interview that you know, really no player in that situation should give. Look at Keane, he's attacking McCarthy, he's attacking the FAI, he's attacking Saipan, he's attacking the players, he's attacking everybody. Crikey, I wonder does McCarthy know about this? McCarthy heard about the interview, then got a copy of the interview, then confronted Keane. So the stage was set. That was it. Boom. Right, can you give us any insight into what happened last night? No. Can you even tell us how you're feeling at the moment? I feel very uh, really good. Clear conscience. And I'm happy to be going home. I've never witnessed anything like that in my life. There is a line. And unfortunately, Roy has crossed it. I think I've tried to handle it with dignity. There's going to be a boy there, of course there will, but fighting Irish has been called for years and now this gives us an opportunity to go out and show it. What happened to me last week, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. I felt I deserved better. Now, of course I lost my temper, but people make me out to be a monster and I'm a loner and... It's nonsense, absolute nonsense. It's hurting you, this? Oh, of course it's hurting me. Dead right it is. I guess it's kind of sad that myself and Roy get remembered for that when we've achieved so much within Irish football and contributed so much to Republic of Ireland football.